Hello and welcome to Wayland Additive. We're delighted to be here to unveil Wayland's breakthrough Metal AM technology. Today we'll be sharing our Calibre 3 Metal AM system, at the core of which is our new beam technology. New beam represents a step change in performance and capability compared to existing machines on the market today. In other words, we can print things that no one else can. Shortly, our CTO, Ian Laidler, will be sharing some of the technical innovations behind Newbeam, while Business Development Director Peter Hansford will be discussing some of the new application areas that Calibre 3 opens up for industry. Meanwhile, my job as the CEO is to explain the genesis of our work, the why behind Newbeam and Calibre 3. First and foremost, this is not a Me Too copycat product. Rather than being an alternative to existing SLM or EBM systems, Newbeam offers the ability to produce parts that cannot be printed today, freeing engineers from the current process limitations that confine their ability to innovate. For example, SLM typically produces parts which are highly stressed, requiring extensive supports, post-build stress relieving and laborious finishing. Even so, parts often still distort or even crack during manufacture, and many materials cannot be used due to micro-cracking induced by these stresses. This limits material choice, part size, and to some extent, the geometry. Similarly, with current EBM processes, we're limited to a small number of materials, and the requirement to press into the powder limits the achievable geometry because powder can be difficult to remove. At the heart of this is powder charging. The powder bed must be sintered to prevent the powder becoming charged by the electron beam, and the difficulty in maintaining a stable sinter cake is a key reason for the narrow range of materials. When looking at any new technology, I believe we have to pass the so what test. In this case, we believe that it's no longer good enough to ignore some of the workarounds and limitations that have existed in AM for years, especially as AM moves from a prototyping to an industrial serial production technology. This is our mission, and with the launch of Calibre 3 today, our achievement. So what? The new beam process encapsulated in the Calibre 3 system is an entirely new powder bed fusion process that is truly groundbreaking and which opens up greater potential for more industrial applications. New beam is short for neutral beam technology and effectively neutralizes the charge accumulation generated by the electron beam, which means for the first time, we can offer all the advantages of EBM without the drawback and limitations that we've held it back to date. Ian will go into more detail on the technical aspects of the technology, but the headlines are There's the opportunity to use a much wider range of metal materials. There's the ability to produce large parts without having to worry about residual stress or gas cross flow and without having to press into the powder bed. There's substantially reduced print time and energy consumption. There's a simplified powder removal process compared to existing EBM machines. And we can produce fully dense parts in a wide range of materials. Crucially, we've introduced a built-in real-time process monitoring and control system for a really industrial and stable production platform. Pete will explain precisely what this means for industry, after which there'll be an opportunity to get up close and personal with Calibre 3. But in the meantime, I'm going to hand over to Ian, who will discuss some of the technical innovations that really underpin Newbeam and Calibre 3. Thank you, Will, and thank you, everybody, for taking the time to listen to us. Um, I'd like to introduce you to the technology that Wayland Additive has been developing over the past few years. When we started this uh, endeavor a few years ago, we went out to industry and discussed with them the needs of the industry in terms of new machines and new technology. And we soon became aware that whilst there's a lot of knowledge out there on the laser powder bed systems, there's very little knowledge related to electron beam technology. So maybe in the next few minutes we can talk a little bit about some of the advantages that electron beam technology brings to the user. Before I talk about the advantages of electron beam technology, let me briefly introduce you to the Achilles heel of the process. Electrons are charged particles, and powder, metal, metal powder typically has an oxide layer on it, which is semiconducting or insulating. And when electrons impinge upon this, powder, they consequently stick, they have no route to ground, and rapidly, very rapidly, 
uh, electric field will build up that will cause that, those powder particles to repel from each other and potentially fly around the chamber. Such an event is build limiting and um, the work that's been done has to be scrapped. Wayland realized this was a problem and whilst the industry has developed solutions to that, typically which relate to pre-sintering the powder, this makes the powder become conducting and the charge can find a route to ground. We realized that the pre-sintering process limits the advantages of e-beam technology, so we set about solving the problem from the, from the roots. This we've done, so we now have a very stable process. We don't need to pre-center the powder and we can bring to bear all the advantages that electron beam technology has to offer. So if we start thinking about what those advantages are, firstly let's look at the energy transfer mechanism from the electrons to the powder bed itself. This is a kinetic process. We have a high energy electron beam that basically uh, becomes incident on that powder bed. The electrons transfer their kinetic energy to the static powder and thermalize within the powder. There's no additional coupling media needed for that energy to transfer into the powder. This means that there's no additional gases, no expensive cross gas flow to use, it means we can run at higher powers, it means that there's less contamination, and it also gives us the ability to build larger parts. Another advantage about electron beams is their ability to be deflected very fast. This is without contact, so we don't need mirrors, we don't need mechanical deflection systems, we don't have to worry about the inertia of such systems either. It also means that there are no touch points between the electron when it is emitted from the electron source to when it hits the powder bed. So what you measure is what you get and this is very important for quality assurance. The other advantage about the fast deflection system is that we can also manipulate the shape of the beam very rapidly, as rapidly as we can deflect it. As most people know, with any optical system as you deflect off axis, you will end up with optical distortions. And the same is true for an electron optical system. But as we deflect off, ax ac off axis and we get these distortions, we can correct for these distortions equally through electromagnetic fields. This means that as we deflect, we can correct for astigmatism, we can, dis we can correct for the shape of the beam as it lands on the powder bed as a consequence of the angle. We can also correct for the focus changes as we move off axis and we can do this in real time and very fast. The ability of the speed therefore gives us enhanced scan strategies. We can do things that cannot be achieved with laser systems because of our speed. The speed of the deflection system opens up a range of scan strategies not possible with slower laser mirror manipulation systems and allows higher melt powers to be used whilst maintaining stable melt pool dynamics. This in turn leads to greater productivity. The lack of physical touch points to the beam also means that the instant power on the powder bed is easily measured and controlled, a key aspect of any process that has to be compliant with quality assurance procedures. It also means that we can run at higher powers whilst maintaining the melt pool dynamics for required for good fusion. Our process is a hot process. This typically we try and operate at above the annealing temperature of the metal and yet below the sintering point of the powder. Consequently, the parts that we produce are stress-free. This means that they don't have to be firmly anchored to the start plate, so therefore the final component when it comes out of the chamber is free from stresses, it doesn't have to be sent away for annealing, and equally can be taken off the build plate without wire erosion. These are out ops that the customer no longer has to worry, and it means the process is a lot quicker, more user-friendly. Additionally, as a thermal process, it means we have the opportunity of enhanced in-process monitoring. We have free sight of the powder bed during the fusion phase, and Rayland has developed a suite of in-process techniques ranging from infrared systems, optical systems, also electron imaging systems, and this gives the user a huge amount of data during the build that can be analyzed in real time hastening the development of new products and materials as well as providing the data for quality assurance functions. We're further working on enhancing that technology via AI routines to get in-process control. Our process takes place in a vacuum and while some see that vacuum technology has added complexity, for us we see it as a benefit. We must remember that vacuum technology has been around for many years and is in actual fact very mature. 
we see the benefits of vacuum technology outweighing any of the detractors. So firstly, with vacuum technology, we get less contamination of the powder bed, we get less oxidation of the powder bed during the process, and for us, powder flows more easily in vacuum. Ultimately, therefore, powder life should be increased. U-beam technology, therefore, offers a fast, flexible, stable process for the AM user. And at the end of the build, the new beam process results in simplified part finishing. Because we build stress-free parts, they do not have to be integrated as part of the build start plate, so wire erosion is not needed to remove them from the start plate. Because we build without a pre-sinter, we only need a simple depowdering step. And as already stated, our parts do not have to be stress-relieved. So from beginning to end, we offer metal powder bed AM that is simple, flexible, and fast, with less pre-build processing, post-build processing, and faster part development cycles with a material palette that will be greater than standard E-beam or laser-based systems. The new beam process exhibited today in our Calibre 3 system has been designed from the bottom up and comes from many years of experience working in the semiconductor industry, which, as most people know, is a very hard taskmaster. The speed of the new beam deflection system opens up to us scan strategies that are not possible with machines on the market today. This means we can run at higher beam powers while still maintaining the melt pool dynamics that we need for good fusion. Consequently, we can achieve higher productivity. Thank you, Ian. I'd like to share what Calibre 3 brings for industry and the real opportunities it brings for business. Until now, Metal AM solutions have required compromises to be found or made. As Will alluded to, we've looked to overcome these compromises and instead of tweaking existing process or becoming that Me Too product, we've developed New Beam, built from the ground up to solve many of the inherent issues in existing Metal AM. It's a technology that disrupts and opens up new opportunities. The ability to produce parts that have until now been almost impossible because of complex geometry or materials not easily processed. It's a true third way, sitting between SLM and EBM systems, and a leap forward compared to the existing alternatives. New Beam and Calibre 3 are in essence promoting innovation. This should be key to any advancement in technology. We want to shift the perceptions of Metal AM. Calibre 3 is for the designers and manufacturers who are feeling constrained. It means that companies can revisit applications previously seen as troublesome or impossible. Or more importantly, begin development projects with a clearer view of the process and more room to operate in. In short, New Beam is able to reduce the need to compromise, opening up new opportunities for Metal AM. We've created a very stable technology. By removing the constraints, New Beam is more open for tuning parameters, enabling you to attain the specifications for production. In addition, New Beam requires far fewer downstream processes, saving both time and money. By removing those charging issues that make EBM so unstable, we've overcome this Achilles heel, therefore taking away the disappointment experienced by existing EBM users. At Wayland, we have always looked for collaboration, one that will shape future technology development. We've engaged with interested parties on their applications. We see New Beam really benefiting their commercial objectives. As we move forward, we continue to seek true partnerships with all our potential customers. We now invite you to have a look at the Calibre 3 system. Why not engage with us and we can look at your specific application. Mm -hmm.